I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will prove right triangle geometric mean leg theorem. The theorem is the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle separates the hypotenuse into two segments that is the altitude and these are the two different segments. The length of a leg of this triangle is the geometric mean between the length of the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to that leg. That means this leg B is geometric mean of C, the hypotenuse, times X. And this leg length A is equals to geometric mean of the hypotenuse and Y. That is A equals to square root of CY and B is equals to square root of CX. So that is what this theorem is. Now we already had a video in which we have shown in this situation there are sim three similar triangles and with that ratio we have proved this theorem. Now here we'll kind of do it once again. Now as you can see from here, when we draw up a perpendicular which is the altitude for the big triangle, it divides the hypotenuse into two segments, let them be x and y. In that case, if you consider the big triangle ACB and this small triangle ACD, then these two triangles are similar since both have one angle common, that is the common angle, and both have 190 degrees. So that is the 90 degrees for the big triangle and this is the 90 degrees for the small triangle. Similarly, if you consider the other small triangle with this big triangle, we have a common angle B, right? And we have 90 degrees. Therefore, these two triangles are also similar. Since these triangles are individually similar to the big triangle, they themselves are also similar. Once we say they are similar, well, in that case, we know this is 90 degrees. If this triangle, the small one ACD, is similar to BCD, in that case, this angle should be equal to that angle, correct? So let me draw two dots. So these two are similar angles, and angle B should be equal to this angle, correct? So from similarity, we can prove that also. Now what have I done here is, I have drawn these triangles again with 90 degrees on the top so that we can compare the ratio of the sides. So for the big triangle, here it is as such. For these small triangles, this is the small triangle ADC where D is at right angle. So we just flipped it over and have drawn it here. And the triangle which is CDB has been again flipped and drawn. Now, if you compare the sides, that is hypotenuse over the smaller size, let us say we are comparing hypotenuse over shorter side, then what do you get? Now, for all these triangles, this is the hypotenuse, correct? And the shorter side is this B, right? So from the first big triangle, we get C over B equals to from the other triangle, we get B over X, correct? So we get B over X and from the third triangle, we get A over H. Now, if you see the first two ratios, C over B equals to B over X, if you cross multiply, you get CX equals to B square or B is equals to square root of CX, correct? Or you can say B equals to, let me write down here itself, or let me push the page slightly, B equals to square root of CX. That is what we mean. When you say the length of a leg of this triangle is geometric mean between the length of the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to the leg, right? So length of the leg B is geometric mean of length of the hypotenuse and the segment adjacent. Do you see that? Now, if you compare hypotenuse to longer side, so we did shorter side here. So if you compare hypotenuse to longer side, 
so let me do it squeeze it in here right hypotenuse to long side then what do you get hypotenuse is C right the long side is A which is equals to in this case B over H which is equals to in this case A over Y now in this particular case if you consider these two correct then a square is equals to c y right c y or a equals to square root of c y so the side a is geometric mean of the hypotenuse and the adjacent side that is how you can prove it right I hope the proof is absolutely clear and you have understood the concept. So we have three videos here relating to the same thing. And, you know, with that kind of repetition, I think you will understand exactly what we are trying to say here. And let's do some questions based on these theorems and see how easy it becomes to solve those questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you enjoyed the journey with me of learning right triangle geometric mean theorems let's apply it and see how useful these theorems are thank you and all the best